Hey guys, JB and I just finished shooting a video for you guys, and I forgot to put this part in, so I'm gonna put it at the front of the video. Good news is um, we got accepted uh, into the YouTube partnership program. Uh, I started to do it last year, but I wanted to make sure that my health was gonna improve, find out what was going on, because we really didn't know last year. Um, <sighs> We put it in the other night, got up the next morning, there was an email saying congratulations. It'll take about uh, 30 something days to get all the bugs worked out uh, because apparently I was hacked at some point. But um, YouTube uh, was real good about answering some questions. But I wanted to tell you about another thing that we did. We uh, started a, a Patreon page. And uh, what that is is where you can go in and donate and help support uh, me and JB so that we can make better videos for you, so I can get some better equipment. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, an old computer uh, that's pretty much taped up and it doesn't have much horsepower, guys. It really doesn't. Um, that's why you only ever get one camera angle uh, because I, I can't record from two cameras and put it on the computer. Um, it, it just doesn't have enough uh, Something swimming across that lake. I'll show you guys in just a second. But uh, you know, we want to we want to be able to go to some more places. And uh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Um, and show you some places that you haven't been to yet, and uh, fish for some other species we hadn't fished for. And you know, the couple of years I've been doing this, I've been funding it all out of my own pocket, and. Uh, Right now for us, it's kind of a difficult time. And it would really help me in GB. And it's, it's set up for uh, $5, $8, and $10. Um, you know, please don't, it, it may give you an option to give more than that, but, but please don't. If enough of you, you know, give one of those amounts, it'll, uh, it'll be enough uh, to do what we need. And, um, I'm gonna try to find a lighter boat, uh, something that's uh, not gonna be as uh, painful to my back to have to operate, and something that's more open, more comfortable, preferably with an electric start of some type. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know what that is. Look here, guys. Look just back beyond JB, there's a white line going across that lake and there's nothing there. It just went by a stump that sticks up out of the water there. And now it's not there. There's no telling what these old lakes hide. Could have been an alligator. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, JB. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, that's what we wanted to tell you, and I forgot to put it uh, in the video. Uh, <clears throat> I, I have to keep an eye on him. Um, he's a water horse. He loves to get in that water, and I know there's gators in that lake, so I've got to keep an eye on him. <clears throat> he just gobbled his dinner down, so I've got to give him a little privacy for a minute. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, your support will be greatly appreciated. And uh, <clears throat> we'll see you out on the water. Come on, bees. He's headed right to that water. Hey, JB, come on. Oh, my goodness. Kids. Whether they're two legged or four legged, they don't want to listen. JB, come on. Well, hurry up. Y'all reckon the river's shallow? I have caught a few catfish off of this sandbar right here. Are you gonna help? Okay. Well, come on. You about to get run over? He said, this is fun.
All right, we're in deep enough now. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, well, that's funny. Come on. Come on. Go. No, 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 no. There you go. You're going to have me soaked. That's all right. How about you? Uh-uh. Come here. Get back here. Get back here. Go. Go. Thank you. Oh, I got me out of breath. Climbing back in. <clears throat> I know we come back down, we're gonna hug that. I got side right there. Probably just pull the trolling motor up and let it just drift us down. I'm gonna have to deepen it a little bit. There we go. There we go. guys we couldn't get in our uh, honey hole there the water's too low and uh, there's a big old log blocking it I thought about getting out but my back is just hurting way too bad to get out and walk in that muck if it was hard sand like that it wouldn't wouldn't be a problem <clears throat> but how about that for a view I'm about ready to wet a hook I'm beginning to wonder maybe even though we've got some current if we shouldn't try for some crappie right up in here it's probably about three o'clock I don't usually watch that clock too close when I'm fishing but we've been exploring a little more today than fishing. Now they love willow trees. And if memory serves, I hadn't been past the honey hole in a boat in, oh my goodness, I couldn't tell you when. I'd, I'd only be guessing. Uh, See, there's a lot of current right there, but back behind it, there wouldn't be. There used to be another little, uh, just around this right here. And right up here, there used to be a creek that went back. It may be all silted up now. But I changed batteries over and you can see we picked up some speed. But I wanted to show you all some beautiful places that you might not ever get to see otherwise. I'm going to go around that because we're not running something. That's actually a little stick sticking up off one of these treetops. When I first started fishing this end up here 
kind of on my own. Well, I had a buddy with me that day. And David, if you uh, ever see this, I hope you're doing good. And hey guys, while I'm thinking about it, if y'all would pray for uh, Andy Bass. Uh, he's a fellow YouTuber. He's in the hospital right now. And I'm a little concerned that he may have some congestive heart failure. Um, said he had fluid on his lungs and around his heart. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that that's what it is, but uh, whatever it is, uh, he needs prayer right now, and I'd sure appreciate it if y'all pray for him. But I really want you guys to just see some of the beauty of this river today. I had my mind set on two different spots to fish, and I can't get into either one of them. Um, my back would uh, absolutely it's already hurting it's leaning forward that's why i want to take this deck out where i can stand up that's one reason y'all don't see me use the boat very often and it is hurting bad um i'll have to have somebody come put the boat on the trailer for me i mean i might can do it but this right here is what they call boaters paradise y'all see all them treetops The ones that know how to navigate this, uh, they go through it like it ain't even nothing there. But uh, it's put a lot of folks in a hurt. That water gets up just high enough to cover the majority of that. And they come running through and that uh, prop uh, on their motor catches it and it either rips the uh, transom off, slings them out of the boat causes a lot of bad wrecks and please don't say well why don't they do something about it there's companies that love to have that lumber right there but the state ain't gonna pay to have it removed they used to spend some money on on this river but it all goes to south florida now And if it was 5 a.m. and we left right now driving for it on the interstate, it'd take 12 hours to get down there where they spend all that money. And ooh, you ought to see the people down there. <clears throat> no, I'd rather come out here with you guys. And now, there might be some fine shell cracker off them high banks. You find a high bank like that where it's deep. I don't know if I can get around that right through there or not. I don't know that I can get up this. But there's one more spot I want to check out before we really start fishing. Because believe it or not, it'll only take about 15 minutes to get back to the launch. <clears throat> good one here oh I need me a little net guys we got one backing that one up that was a fine one there I shouldn't have played around with him so long, but I was trying to get the camera on. Move it up just a little bit. Sorry, bees. We don't have long. Like I said, that last 400 yards kind of worries me. By having it uh, with no cork or anything, it's more of a natural presentation. They will hit it, as you can see. There is one trying to back up with that one. But you'll see, they're, they're not as inclined to take it as hard as they hit this one. Now, he's gonna get it, but only because I moved it, I believe. 
He's definitely running with it. Catch up with him and set that hook. Oh yeah. Uh oh. A one hit this one right here. I just well, almost lost it. If I hadn't have grabbed it with my feet, I would have. Oh, that's a fine one there. Come on. You you bounce that thing across the bottom. Um <clears throat> a shell cracker can't stand it. Well, we're down to one one rod now. I'm not gonna put a I'm not gonna put another hook on this leap. He, he might have got that bait as hard as he hit it. If I hadn't had it, yeah he did. Where I could grab it with my feet. We'd have lost this rod. Hey, some big shell cracker down there. I hope my running lights work. I did not check it before I left. I'll tell you what, here in a minute we'll plug them in and find out. Well, he stumped it. He didn't take it though. There are days that I love to watch a court go under. And sometimes I just hurt too bad to make too many casts, so I'll, I'll, I'll put it out with just a cork on it. But there's a lot of fish here. Uh, I miss them too, guys. More often, it seems every year, Let this one get away. Put that back there. <clears throat> it ain't just that the running lights. I ain't too worried about there being a game warden there. Because there never is. Look at there. One that I picked up running with it. Um, <clears throat> he almost pulled it in. He almost pulled the pole in, bees. I thought you was watching it. You say you didn't tell me to watch it. That's not what's worrying me. It's uh <clears throat> being able to navigate that uh, area clearly. But I think I can do it. I wouldn't be out here if I didn't believe I could. But I wouldn't want to do it completely after dark. Oh, I reckon we got 10 minutes, guys. There he is. Oh, Michael. Oh. They're hitting it before it's even getting to the bottom. And they ain't playing when they hit it, which I like. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. Nice one. Real nice one. Come on in here, big boy. Come on in here, big boy. Oh, he's giving me a fit on this rod. JB, you might have to get him. That's a fine one there. Look at, look at him, guys. Look at him. Hey, if I can catch shell cracker like that, that's a two-pound shell cracker, guys. Can't even get my hand around it. Let me hold it up so they can see it, B. I can get my whole thumb in his mouth. Won't y'all look at that? Let's see if we can't catch a lemon on these rocks real quick. <clears throat> and we'll hunt crappie another day. As I figure I got about 30 minutes and I'm gonna have to navigate out of here. I mean, I've got running lights, but uh, I want to make sure that we uh, don't have to put the boat on after dark. Oh my heavens! Well, there's there's no light there. None. I mean, 
I got the truck lights and everything, but they told me they was catching them size of five gallon buckets on the river, but now <clears throat> it's part of it's my fault because I assumed they were they were catching them up this way. They're not gonna tell you where they're catching them. And the only reason I know that there's any truth to it is I saw the pictures. Shellcracker don't mind a little bit of running water. That's that's a deep hole. Those crappie might be down eight, ten foot. Oh, I missed him. I was trying to watch that crappie man. He got the bait. I can just tell when that bait comes off there. But if they scrap it, I mean a shell cracker like that in here, then we want some shell cracker. I'll give y'all a little bit of my opinion on 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 fishing. If you're catching a fish that you like, don't leave fish to find fish. There was another spot where I'm pretty sure there are some crappie, but uh, that last 400 yards is a nightmare to navigate. There he is. Oh, wow. Oh my heavens, JB. Look at here, son. Look at here. Woo wee. That's gonna make your grandma happy. Ain't nothing messing with him. <clears throat> Ain't nothing messing with him. He's just gonna end up getting me hung, what he's gonna do. <clears throat> I got shell cracker to get. Honestly, I think I'd rather eat shell cracker than crappie. Oh, it kind of depends. I had a lot of bait fish behind us. They should be here. The crappie should be right here. I know this is where we've caught them before. There's a lot of structure down there that the camera can't see. I'll be honest with you, I'm surprised the big old bluegill hadn't taken that crappie. Man, no, something, something messing with him. <clears throat> and what is that floating on the water, you ask? That's algae with some mud on it. That's a grinder, JB. That's a half mile from here. That minute is doing his thing. That was a good hard thump I had. Let me see if I can get him. Oh, heavens. He bent my hook. You don't have to have a whole lot of worm on them. Turn that worm upside down. Come in like that with it. 
that's going to be a complete natural presentation. I got my weight a little closer than what I like it, but uh, that'll be all right. You going to come up here? Okay, well, come on. Oh, he, he nailed it. Look at him run with it. We found us a shell cracker hole. They are a hard fighting fish. Listen, here's a bit real nice bluegill. Real nice bluegill. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed the ride and, and, and just looking at a couple miles of this river. Uh, it's, it, to me, it's very beautiful. Uh, I hope you guys uh, believe it is. See all that? The crappie ought to be there. But it's been a long time since I've fished this part of the river. Well, really been a long time since I've fished the actual river, river itself. Um, <clears throat> I may try to move him further up in a minute. It's hard to walk away from them nice shellcracker and bluegill for a crappie. She got me distracted and we're just gonna leave him right out there. He'll he'll be out of the way. And if I try putting two poles, I got a buddy, he can fish with five rods and never never hardly ever miss one. Look at here. Look at here. Oh, this is a good one, JB. He's a fighter. I'll get him run. See those beautiful colors coming up through that water? Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Look at here. Look at here, look at here, look at here. He says, I'm coming. Big bluegill, JB. Big, big hand painted bluegill. I want you guys to get a look at this guy. Look at there. If I take my hand, I got big hands. Look at that. That's perfect eating size. That one shell cracker, you could hang him on the wall if you wanted to. I buy, uh, I hope I can think of the name of it. Peroxide by the gallon. Let your pants dry just a little bit and you can uh, put that peroxide on that on them bloody spots and it'll take it right out and then when you throw them in the washer, you don't have no stained up blue jeans. I bet there's some good hunting in there. You watching that one too, ain't you? There's one spot these things seem to be in. Now there, there could be a, a, a late bed of them. But I think what it is is we've got a deep hole right here where there's not a whole lot of current, but right next to current where they can shoot out and get their food. That man is doing his job, and I know that there's bait there. There's some places down that's got lots of uh, treetops where it doesn't have much current. I was going to try it on the way back, but if we're going to catch these things, then that's what I want to catch. Get about 10 more of these. Mm-mm, they would taste so good. Of course, we got some fried chicken and some turnip greens and uh, fresh cornbread waiting on us. Well, I ain't gonna spend too much, too terrible much time on this. You don't catch them every single cast, but it's gonna be right in there. I'm gonna find me some lighter ultralight rods that are about six foot long. 
I'm gonna take some of these better reels and put them on them. Uh, see, he's doing his thing. That tells me there's not any little bass there or anything. If it was, they would they would have tore them up. Well, they got they, these things done got me excited. I am completely sitting here shaking. I'm so excited. But I tell you what, <clears throat> that's a deep hole. He's got it. Oh, Michael, golly, guys, they are hitting it before it's getting to the bottom, and I can't get a good hook set on them. We're gonna try that again. I got him figured out. He feels like he weighs two pounds. Of course, on this stuff, they, they all feel like that. All right, that one made it to the bottom. But that weight's not so heavy, see, that that current can't move it. You about ready to be? I'm hearing him sigh. There it goes. There he goes, baby. Got him. See all that bait right there? They should be crappie here, guys. I just don't have the time left today to figure out what depth they are. Come here, big boy. Wow, you are fat. I wish I could show you all that little trick right there in slow motion to get that hook out, but I can't. Because if I tried to do it in slow motion, it wouldn't come out. <clears throat> there he is. He made a he made a good uh, swipe at it, but he didn't. Uh... If you can find a place like this on your local river or creek system, where you got current on the outside, look at there. He straightened that hook right out. He straightened that hook right out. We got a few left here. About as much time as we got. <clears throat> ah, still a little too far to the back, but that's all right. One done thumped it. What I did right there was just let him have it. Line, everything. GB, this is a pretty good one here. I got to see him yet. He's a fighter, though. Mm. I wish I could tell you how much fun that is on this. That's a nice one right there. Look at here, guys. Look at that. So far, one of you ain't stuck me. I'm surprised. I'll have 10 or 12 there. I'm leaving that weight all the way at the bottom to get it down faster. And you just work it like a jig. That one's done picked it up. Look at there. He ain't as big. Up there went more bluegill. That's a nice bluegill there, though, guys. Get him turned sideways for you. Well, that works, too. I 
I'm just breaking off about an inch and a half. That's all I'm doing. Putting it right up through the barb. Everything's exposed. It just looks like a natural piece of bait that uh, is floating back there for them. I want that one that almost pulled this pole in. That was happened twice. Or maybe this is him. I'm just giving him some line. I think he's on there, but nope, he didn't take it. Thum, thump, thump, thump. But when you stop it, see, they stop. Got him. That might be the one that pulled it in. He sure was strong. No, that ain't the one. Beautiful, though. Oh, you slung my bait off. Now, they get double this size on, on this river, guys. The limit's 50. We're not going to get anywhere close to that. About five more, we're going to head to the house. Oh, this is a hard navigation when the water's low like this. Because we're going about across about two foot, and I don't want to have to get out and uh, push the boat. Here we go, right here. Look at, look at there. And they're all big as my hand are bigger. Look at that. My aerobatics. Throw my worm off there for me. Look at this guy right here. Oh my goodness. I can't tell you guys. I, I forgot all about crappie. What a crappie now? All right, he's got it. See, that current's moving it for me. And what they're doing is they're shooting out of that still water. They probably got them a hole up underneath that high bank, and they're shooting out and grabbing, grabbing the bait. Oh my goodness sakes. They are strong, strong. In the panfish family, I don't think uh, there's a stronger fish in fresh water in that category. I mean, occasionally you get a big crappie on that can really pull or a real big bluegill. But, uh, all right, that one found the bottom and the fish has found it just that quick. Better one, I think. Nope. Nope. But you are an eater. Somehow I got him in the chin, guys. Oh, I have to keep him. Mm. I hate that. I'm gonna have to put that side back. Some of them are hidden up underneath that bag of ice. What I'm going for is about 20. And we're just gonna stop right there. Though I don't want to. It's all we need to, to feed five people and JB. I know some people eat that many right by themselves. Y'all didn't think I was gonna find any fish on this trip, did you? Well, I didn't find any crappie, but I found the next best thing. Beautiful sunset. Ah, oh, come here. Boy, you should sure dance, couldn't you? I mean, you could dance. I 
I almost tried this on the way up if I had a y'all wouldn't have got to see what was up that way. There he is. He thumped it real good. He might have got that worm on there, but it was just barely hanging. I think he did. Yeah, he did. Well, about two more, and I reckon we're going to get out of here. I said that, what, 80 times already? It's hard to quit uh, when you're catching good fish. It really is. done found it but that's what they're doing y'all be looking for places where there's eddies mouse of creek banks off of bends and rivers that's a much much stronger one here a lot better one yeah come here big boy when you get them like that and they're over a pound they sure can put up a fight Nobody was catching anything, huh? I guess they were doing what I was, of course, I was exploring. I wanted to show you guys. I mean, this isn't by any means the entire river, but, uh, There's plenty of bait fish here. They should have been plenty of, plenty of crappie. So I can keep them in as alive. Right there, there's one. You wonder why I'm stopping it like that is I'm trying to give them a chance to get it down their gut so that I don't lose them. sink I think one done picked it up Probably enough bait right there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna double that up. I didn't check these red worms when I bought them. They about dried up. Luckily, I can make them recover. I need a much heavier weight on than what I've got, but. Yep, he's on there. Another real good one. At least it feels like it. Pull them out of that deep water, they all can feel really big. But he ain't really fighting that much. He's just gonna come right on in. He's like, I'm caught. Good eater though. <clears throat> but not another one of them giants. That fish that we just caught is about five to six years old. That's about how long it takes for him to get that big, so. That fish is a little, a little bit older than JB. Now we're gonna come right back up in here with it so it'll sink. Oh, come on now, sink. There we go. Get down there to the bottom.
Okay, next fish will be the last one, okay? Fishing is addictive, guys, when you when you get into them and you know there's big ones there. But they're not in close to the boat. They're right back here where that current and still water come together. he's found it or she I might have got in a little too close to the bank don't don't kid yourself shallow water can hide big fish but these fish have figured out a way to get fat and stay that way. And when they're feeding, you want to stay on their feeding path. I just need a little bit more weight on that to make it sink faster. But that's pretty close to where we pulled that big one out of. She's on the bottom now. Look at that. Martin. Granddaddy always said when the Martins come out, it's time to get off the off the river, so. Close these red worms up. Drop them in there. Well, I guess that big one was, was the one to end it on, huh? You can't say we didn't catch a mess right here because I think we got 18. I was going for 20, but. And we may have 20. My my math could be off a little bit. Yep. Start getting things ready and I'll let that set out there and maybe we'll get 19. 19 is pretty close to 20. That's a good one too. Come on there, fella. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. I look at him in that water there. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. And we got him. All right, guys. I told JB next fish would be the last one. I mean, I could sit out here till in the morning and do this. I can't tell y'all how much fun it is. <clears throat> hey, I gotta pull the anchor ropes up, right? Why not? Uh, you know. There we go. Get my glasses, put them in there. Put my shirt in there. Got the flashlight in case we need it up here. Wow. This is the one to end it on, guys. JB, come see. He's still staying down deep. I can see him, but he's still down deep. Look at look here, guys. Look at him in that water. He wants to go by that anchor rope. 
My heavens. Come back here, fella. Look at him. Look at him. Look at here, bees. He's all wrapped up in the line now. Probably the reason we got him. Look at here, GB. Get this hook out of him. Okay, guys. <laughs> I got to end it on this one. Uh, won't y'all take a look at there? He ain't no three pounder, but he's a fine, fine, fine one. All right, I tell you what, bees. I tell you what. I tell you what. Now, these fish are here because of the way the current and the deep water is sitting up on them. Oh, I lost him, guys. I lost him. He felt like he was about the same size as that last one. I'll let him have it a little bit longer. There we go. All right, now we got our 20 bees. That didn't take too long, did it, guys? I know my videos are long. <clears throat> I could do like most people and turn the camera off and turn it right back on, but when you're catching them just, you know, this fast, that camera's not gonna come on quick enough and it'll cost you some fish. I'll pull that up and let y'all kind of see. Some of them are just absolutely monsters. But that's all we need. That's gonna give us a good fish fry. We're gonna do it again, guys, because I've got some folks that are asking me for some fish. <clears throat> Come on, pull this up. Well, it jumped off. Go ahead and turn that on. <clears throat> Well guys, I'm gonna uh, let y'all see what it's like a little further down, because I didn't put that in going up. But right now, I'm gonna kind of focus on getting us out of here. Now y'all see why I like to bank fish a little bit better. It's just easier on me all the way around. I put these back in here. That in there. All right, we can head to the house now, bees. Captain JB, everybody, he's got a birthday, November 14th. If you want to send him anything, I'll uh, video him opening it. P.O. Box 501. <clears throat> well, I gotta have that ultrasound tomorrow. <clears throat> P.O. Box 501, Century, Florida, 32535. All right, let's get uh, a little closer to the truck.